gruesome team at, uh, at Zoom VG for helping that to be prepared. Uh, to the uh, High Commissioner of New Zealand, Jonathan Kerr, Deputy High Commissioner for Australia, Paul Wilson, and British Deputy High Commissioner, Paul Welsh, thank you for gracing us with your presence. To the Chair of uh, Fiji Rugby, Conway Begg, uh, Chief Executive John O'Connor, and members of the FAU Board, welcome to another major milestone in the Fiji rugby journey. And uh, thank you for your unwavering support of the Fijian Endura as we've traversed what was a, a tortuous 14 month process to get us to where we are today. To start for Fiji Rugby, who helped us with our beard, and I'd like to especially acknowledge our General Manager of High Performance, Simon Rawalui, who has led our original strategy for the establishment of the team, the high performance and player front, and so capably handled the recruitment phases. Uh, Simon has agreed to come on board as the scrum coach of the Fijian Drua in addition to his high performance duty. So he'll bring with him his experience as a, uh, uh, I think, a 39 cap flying Fijian and former flying Fijian captain. So the many sponsors and commercial partners of Fiji Rugby, some of whom are also now partners of the, of the Fijian Drua, I'd like to extend a very big vernacular to you all. Without your commitment over many, many years, we would also not have been able to launch our team and franchise. I'd like to especially acknowledge the presence in the room of representatives from Fiji Airways, Vodafone, CJ Patel, Paradise Beverages, CCEP Fiji, a probably better one known as Coca-Cola, Fiji Water, uh, Rooster, uh, Sabrails, Tapu and Mobile, and I hope I haven't forgotten anybody. Uh, if I have, you can blame Fiji Rugby, not the drill. Um, we've also got uh, a number of our media partners here, Seabell, Fiji TV, FBC on the television and radio front, and Fiji Sun, Fiji Times and the new newspaper space. We've also got a number of guests tonight who we hope will become commercial partners with the Fiji Rugby and the Fiji Andrua of Bali. So a big welcome to you all. As I said yesterday at the announcement of the Australian Government's support for the Drua, we had a very short runway to get ready for our first season of Super Rugby Pacific. We only signed our licence on September 3rd, eight weeks ago, and since then we've made a lot of progress. A few highlights of which are, and I hope you don't mind me sharing these, um, negotiating an MOU with the Pacific Rugby Players Association, including standard player contracts, terms around minimum salaries, annual leave, player conditions, and so on. Uh, so I'd like to thank the CEO of the PRP, Harold A.T. Powell, for his commitment and support. We've now recruited 34 players and another six to go, most of them are now training and preparing at the Lake Ainsworth Sport and Recreation Centre at Lennox Head in New South Wales. Uh, can I say well, we're just delighted with the uh, squad of players we've selected, um, and uh, I can assure you that they'll be very fit and strong in three months or so. Um, Establishing a 14 person world class coaching and support team led by head coach Nick Byrne, um, assistant coaches Glenn Jackson and Brad Harris, head of athletic performance and Arthur Thawana Buka, who many of you would know, head physio William Kung, and team manager Patelli Badera Oeni, uh, plus several others. And I'd like to single out general manager Nico Andre for Andrade, who's been the glue bringing everything together for the team. Not only uh, has Nico arranged everything from GPS trackers, laptops, scrum machines, hit shields, apparel software, and computer equipment, physio supplies, motor vehicles. But he's also led the charge on the very significant work around visas, vaccinations, and COVID tests, and our travel and logistics. And as one example, only yesterday, Nico told me he was arranging for the uh, five New Zealand based players to, uh, to come into camp, and for whatever reason, he's had to get three of those to fly from Wellington in New Zealand to Nelson, to Christchurch, back to Auckland to pick up another two guys before they go to Sydney and then travel to Ballard. Off the field, we've also made um, enormous progress. Now we're going a raft of legal and tax issues, which uh, you don't want to be bored with tonight. Uh, but we do thank Peter because they have heard and good, and they heard and good words, uh, for their valuable support during that process. With the help of our licensing partner, Velocity Brand Management, we've signed and announced New Balance as our apparel partner, a wonderful global uh, uh, firm in the, in the apparel space. And we've built a new brand and logo suite for the Drua, which you've just seen in our brand video, and you'll see on our signs here. We're designing a core logo, uh, which is the centerpiece, but 
uh, it's everything behind it, ranging from our colour palette to our, uh, which is primarily royal blue and teal, you'll see it shortly, to our fonts and our brand guidelines. And uh, we've been lucky enough to have uh, engaged for quite a while a wonderful designer who said white coat in Australia. So, Sophie, you've done a great job. This evening, we'll unveil our new jersey design, which the team will be wearing when they run out next year. Uh, we had to get some apparel to them to try and make said, and it's got the, uh, the brand of our uh, name and rights sponsor on the front. We've had to tell our players, don't you dare take a picture and upload it to social media and spoil the secret that we're unveiling tonight. Um, we're commissioning the building of our website which we hope to roll out uh, in, the, in, in the beginning of the middle of December, at least the first stage. And we'll engage a world-class website partner who has also dealt and deals with the likes of EPL terms, World Rugby and Formula One. We're taking a digital first approach and creating opportunities for our sponsors that match world's best practice and will deliver more uh, rich to fans than ever before. And uh, we'll start with a holding page and fan competition in two weeks' time, and we'll progressively roll the side out from there. Several sponsors have already come on board. We've announced Rooster Chicken last week and Pacific Oil Sport yesterday. Thanks again to them. Welcome to the representatives from those partners. And we have three more sponsors signed up that we haven't announced, but one of them will be announcing this evening, and several conversations with others. But we do need more sponsorship support. Um, our, our business has a turnover of uh, expenses of $15 million uh, and it's being sourced from multiple parties but sponsorship is important. Um, there are for sale signs up for a sleeve of plate jersey, um, spots on the, on the shorts and several ground signage opportunities and, and catering partnerships. So please then reach out to myself and my colleague Adam from TAP if you have any interest or suggestions or referrals. So that's just a snapshot of some of the work we've been focused on and we've, we've plenty more in front of us. We've, uh, we've started a tender process today uh, in relation to broadcast rights. We're ticketing strategy our corporate hospitality product offering, just to name a few. We spent a lot of time on the match draw and deliberating and negotiating the venues at which we'll play our seven home games next year. And that's still a work in progress and we intend to finalise it by early to mid-December. What I can tell you this evening is that we'll play our seven home matches at seven different venues, which I can sometimes say to myself that's crazy, but it is what it is. One will definitely be at Amy Park in Melbourne. We'll play the Western Force as part of the Super Round in prime time on Saturday, the 26th of February. Another four will be played in New South Wales and Queensland, at least two of which will be at regional New South Wales. And thanks, thanks to the extraordinary vaccination achievements in Fiji, we have two matches which are tentatively pencilled to bring to Fiji. Okay. I can't say too much about those at the moment, but I, and I need to emphasise that they're very dependent, heavily dependent, on reaching satisfactory agreements with various stakeholders. And that ranges from match venues to TV production companies, partners, suppliers of temporary seating and marquees, and even post Fiji, with whom we're in discussions to help us with ticketing distribution. Having established ourselves in New South Wales, there are substantial uh, additional costs that we would incur to bring games to Fiji, travel accommodation, TV equipment, to name a few. But I remain confident that we will bring at least one game to Fiji, and I'm optimistic that we can bring a second. So stay tuned for that. So turning to the two key announcements for tonight, I'm delighted to welcome our new naming and branding rights sponsor. I should have a drum roll. Swire Shipping. I didn't, I didn't acknowledge Swire and these responses earlier on, deliberately, uh, because I wanted to give you a very special welcome and uh, send my thanks and gratitude, as well as that of the wider Fiji Rugby Gala. The team will now be known as the Swire Shipping Fiji and Druid, and the two year deal sees Swire Shipping take up the premium front of, front of Jersey branding. Swire Shipping has been a sponsor of the FAU since 2017 through their name your right sponsorship of the Swire Shipping Fijian Warriors. This year, in the absence of Fiji Warriors matches, FAU was thrilled to provide Swire Shipping with branding on the back of Jersey of the Flying Fijians, both the matches in uh, 
New Zealand and also on the current European tour. As our foundation naming rights and branding sponsors, Swire Shipping has effectively secured its place in Fijian professional rugby industry. Our 2022 jersey will reflect that. So from our perspective, to secure such a, a renowned and respectable global company is yet another show of confidence by partners in our franchise. Uh, we may be a young club, but we're one with very strong roots. So it's quite fitting and poetic, given the synergies between the names and identities of our two organisations, who share similar values of quality and excellence. The Drua was an ocean-bearing twin-hulled catamaran, and of course Swire is a shipping company. So we're delighted to set sail on our maiden voyage with Swire Shipping and welcome them to our Vale as our major sponsor. So to Alex Patterson, Regional Manager, Pacific Islands for Swire Shipping, this couldn't have happened without your very strong leadership and advocacy within your company. So thank you again to you and your management team. Turning to the second major announcement of playing jersey, you're going to see a video at a moment which will unveil it. Uh, and that jersey has been designed in conjunction with New Balance and our design agency, White Coat. It's set in the club's core colours of royal blue and teal. And uh, those colours reflect in the case of Royal Blue, the deep waters of the Fijian Seas, and in the case of Teal, the spectacular green beauty of the Druid's home. Like its brand, the jersey is designed to reflect the strong and vibrant nature of the Fijian Druid in ex as an exciting, fearless sports organisation. And the stylised Druid icon and its sail motive features strongly across the jersey, alongside New Balance, Rooster, and Pacific Oz Sports on the front. The back also features Pacific Island Sports as well as National Airline Fiji Airways. And the logo uh, appears on the jersey numbers and subtle drua sales form part of the sublimated jersey background. So staying true to our, our home and our values is always top of mind for us. There are millions of jersey design possibilities and combinations, but it's important we stay connected to our unique drua identity of humility and quiet strength. Equally, we respect the reservation of the traditional Fiji rugby core colours of white and black for the Fiji national women's and men's teams. So we're proud that our new jersey showcases our identity, the journey we've embarked upon, the journey powered by the heart and soul of the Fijian people, and now in support of Swire Shipping. So in conclusion, I'd like to just once again thank Alex Patterson and the Swire Shipping team, both here in Fiji and throughout your organisation for your support. Our 14-man coaching crew and our 34 sailors have boarded their drua and sailed to Australia. We're birthed in Lennox Head, getting ready for our mission to prove that, uh, that we belong in the Super Rugby Pacific. We're single-mindedly focused on making all of our fans, families and shareholders proud. And I can back up do and please take a look at the video here to unveil our jersey. I think for me, when, I, when you look at the opportunity to coach this team, it was very exciting. I think you, you know, you, you talk about what they've shown you in the past. I've coached against them. I've coached with the Fijian players, and just their their attitude to the game, the way they respect the game, the way they play it, and the spirit of the game. To be able to come and lead this team, knowing full well how they look at the game, it's just an exciting opportunity. And, uh, and I wanted to uh, obviously challenge myself as well as a coach, but to come in from a group starting from fresh, because that's another good opportunity for a friendly coach to come in and start fresh. We are of course looking to participate in a Super Rugby, in a competition that uh, we look up to and we watch it uh, as a kid growing up every weekend. Uh, these big teams and now we get to play against them. It's just a huge privilege and an honor. I think that's what builds up on straight away when we see each other. You know, the connections are here. You don't really have to build any chemistry. The chemistry is just there. So having a fully Fijian team where everybody has Fijian characters, I think that's, that's a big level for us. Whenever we think of the people in the stadium or 
but in case it's just like uh, your own wives, then we come to the future and I'm going to take it on the front of the piece. Great young players in this kitchen uh, drawer, really love the boys, how we communicate. The most thing I enjoy is uh, socializing with them now. You get to meet them and you make friends with them, with them for life and you get to make connections with others you don't even know that you are connected to and it's what I love about it. It's uh, more close than you know family. No, this is a lot of hard sessions we go through, tough sessions where we just want to create a new home. But lucky we have some of the funny ones who are just lighting up our day, yeah, which makes us like keep continuing. The only thing I really love when I want to watch the most is Cosetes. Uh, just because this man gets more, he's a good player. I can't wait to play against him. <laughs> what are you going to do when you got the ball? I'm going to step him. I'm going to stab him. I'm going to push him. Nothing so we can read something in eh? Nakao.